feel the blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them. If you're coming for me, Taking on the Dolphins it's in Denver. The, the Broncos the made one of the Dolphins. biggest trades we've ever had in the DJFL last season when they traded away week. Joe Burrow for Justin Fields and a slew of Dolphins picks. I mean, all of them. It's basically the first. Uh, it was like a a first, a second, a third, a fourth, and like in the next two years. It was insane the amount of picks we got. It's like two firsts, two seconds, two thirds, two fourths, something like that. It was, it was craziness. It was craziness. The package he got for Joe Burrow, uh, Justin Fields looking like an MVP candidate early Cannot on. Play with him. Cannot win with him. Cannot I want with him. winners. Do it. I want winners. Not Vernon Davis. Apparently. That man sent Vernon Davis to the fucking a grown ass man. Vernon Davis sent his ass to the locker room from an NFL game. That's fucking crazy. You can really set the tone That's for crazy. the game. And I think that both of these quarterbacks are more than capable of doing just that. They are. The Jets are 2-0. Oh. I mean, they got Joe Burrow. I'm not surprised they're 2-0. Oh. It's Joe Burrow makes your team look real good no matter how bad your team could be. All right, we're seeing, we're here to see Justin Fields can leave the Broncos and can Matt Lawrence have a bounce back season? Can Matt, Matt Lawrence finally turn the corner on his career? He had such a great, promising start to his career, and then he struggled a little bit. Let me get the E prediction up. Let me look up the sports book. So here are the Broncos now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by a first round pick back in 2021 from Ohio State. It's Justin Fields. 246, only 50% passing, but he can run the ball really well, too. You got to watch out for Justin Fields running the ball. It's both a runner and a passer. You provide a good running game around him and let him throw deep for the play action. They got the Broncos as seven point favorites. Uh, Tony, because he couldn't, he wasn't going to be able to re sign him, most likely. Uh, yeah, contract. So it was coming down to time to re-sign Burrow, and Burrow's going to want about $40 million more than he's getting right now. Right, so like at least $30 million more. I think it's $30 million more than what he's getting, and Super White can have the money. Oh, we don't know. We don't know why Hoosier makes all the trades he does. Gotta hope that's not a sign of things to come as they face an early second and long. All right, the Saints did not cover the spread, so if you another try after the first down sack, or Fields. the Saints did cover the spread, so if you bet on the Saints last game, you won. They covered the spread by 13 points. Now, right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Oh, nice catch! Tough catch. Third and 10, though, not going to matter. And he'll be stopped at the 27 yard line, well short of the first down marker. Only two Way yards, short. and it'll be a little a high on the throw, too. Possession. Well, able to get the completion, but unfortunately, not able to get the third down conversion there on that play. And I like how the defense approached that one. They knew where the first down marker was, and they decide whatever you want to have, you can. You're just not going to get the first down. Excellent tackling right there. He was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. It's not a great punt. Dolphin football. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And a look here now. All right, here comes Matt Lawrence. He threw for 313 and two touchdowns last game. All right, prediction is live, guys. Appreciate the biddies uh, for the show. Appreciate it. New predictions up. Yep, I was on it. It just takes me a minute to type it out. But the Broncos are a seven point. My name is QGP. Yep, Broncos are seven point favorites in this one. So if you chose the Saints in the last one, they covered the spread. So therefore, the Saints got the victory in the prediction. My man, so what up, my guy? From a mission trip in Mexico? Hey, show. That's amazing, my guy. Out there doing wonderful things. Coming in with the subscription, you are a legend, my guy. Don't want their face in Madden. It is interesting, Warfare. What's up, show? How you been, man? 
picks up the third down. Well, come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. On third down, Lawrence. my man show coming in off of a mission trip Anderson. out there doing and great out things. Just before the midfield stripe at the 49. A 10 yard pickup, and it's enough for a Dolphins. Been doing good, just spent 25 hours in a car. Ugh. That sounds terrible. It's going to be a rebuild for the Raiders. The road, two, so yeah, I mean, pretty much. Uh oh, Lawrence with the fadeaway. Nope, nope, nope. Oh. Should have been caught, should have been intercepted, should have been intercepted again. Uh, show it does. It really does. Um, we got a bunch of uh, data codes show, so we've been we've been testing it out. There's a few of us testing it out right now, show it looks it looks good. Uh, Warfare, I would too. Nice throw. Is this gonna be a bailout though? We're getting a holding call. Oh, I got Vikings next uh, loot for the Panthers. Nice. No, they called pass interference, and it did not matter. But yeah, Madden 24 looks pretty good. We've been testing it out. Um, I like it. I like the upgrades to franchise. It's a step in the right direction. Nice throw. Matt Lawrence out here dealing right now. Uh, it looks like a step in the right direction for franchise. There's definitely some emphasis put on franchise. I like the automatic show. You'll get a kick out of this. You can automatically relocate now. You change it to whatever city you want, and you can pick any of the team names. So we have to already put in a the show uh, rule that says you can only move your team once ever. We are going to allow relocation, but you're only allowed to relocate one time, period. That's it. It's probably going to annoy the shit out of me when I talk about the... Tokyo Dragons playing in the NFC East. Uh, that's far east. <laughs> but um, it is what it is. I think I'm going to allow it. We're going to do it. Let people have their own kind of customized teams. That's a little too easy right there. Austin Eckler walking into the end zone for Joyce and the Dolphins. So glad to hear you're doing really well, man. That's awesome that you're on a mission trip. I hope the mission trip went amazing. I hope you got everything out of it you wanted to get out of it. I know you go on mission trips for self selfless reasons, but I hope you got something out of it as well, mate, my guy. That's awesome, man. I've never been on a mission trip. Not, not something I would normally do. You never do it. So I don't think it caught. Well, so and here's the thing, Tony, and this is what people need to realize. Um, when you move your team, you still have to pay for the stadium at the new place. So it's going to affect you financially going forward. So it will still affect you financially. It's awesome. So I built a house, though? That's amazing. Yeah, the moving your team will affect you financially. So people are going to move a team and then not be able to uh, afford free agents. And they're going to be real confused. But I would imagine sometimes Tokyo, Tokyo Dragon, the Rio de Janeiro Spartans, the Dublin Antlers, and the Atlanta Falcons. Welcome to the NFC South. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'll be lying to you if I said I don't plan to move the team. I'd be lying to you if I said I didn't plan on moving the team. Uh, so, Tony, I think the way we're going to do it for DJFL 24 is going to be sort of like a team lottery. Takes it for good yardage. And we know this defense prepared all week for this, but sometimes when you see it in person, it's a whole different ball. Move the Jags to London, but yeah, keep them as the London Jaguars. You're not relocating. Yeah, so uh, I think what we're going to do is like a random draft. Although I like the idea of completely random teams as well. But I think people are, I mean, because you can move a team. Um, but yeah, I think what I'm going to do is uh, do like a lottery of the order people get to pick. If I move a team, it's not going to be anything like insane. It'll be something that probably could happen or should have happened. I think I just want to make a team the Oilers again. That's really what it comes down to. Like I kind of want to have the Houston Oilers again. As a team in the NFL. Oh, that's going nowhere. As a QB. Oh, but TJ Watt now with an injury and he's holding his back. That is not good for the Dolphins. Not good for the Dolphins.
Uh, Warfare, the big thing is you lose out on a lot of the like custom jerseys when you move a team, right? So you're only going to so get three jerseys when you now move a team. And you don't get to pick them. You just get whatever three jerseys are set for that like team. Tough throw for Fields there. Yeah, so like you're gonna lose out on all the custom jerseys. Yeah, you don't you don't get to keep the throwbacks. Now I do wonder, and I'll, I'll have to test it later. Warfare is if you move a team but keep the team name, then can you do you get to keep all of the custom jerseys? So like you were talking about, like if you move the Jaguars to London and you're the London Jaguars, do you keep all of the custom the uh, throwbacks? That's what I'm curious about. So well done there. And so that's going to be something I have to try out tomorrow and test. Because if that's the case, I might it might be worth moving a team if you keep the name. You just want to move them. Although rebranding is kind of the whole purpose of relocating, I believe. So let me try it right now. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And some room for him there as he'll take this up to about the 15. Yes. The last run got six. Yeah, Chris. Now second and four. From the uh, yeah, Luke. So we, Luke, we advance every night. Every night is advance. Just at midnight. Every night at midnight is when we advance. Well, like 11.45-ish. They go play action with Lawrence. All right. Lawrence out here looking pretty good to start this game. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll make it second. Uh, yeah, so I wasn't going to do the beta, but then I had like 10, I had 10 beta codes show. Uh, and I wanted to kind of, of we wanted to use it as a test on how the DGFL would work in the uh, Madden 24 stuff. You do keep all the jerseys? Well, there you go. Although, man, you, it's a lot of money to spend to not rebrand. Uh-oh. They call that a fumble? Ooh, that's a big call. Ioannidis coming in with a fumble recovery, too. Newly signed Matthew Ioannidis with the fumble recovery right there. Look at the spin move, and then he spots the ball. Yeah, it's a lot of money to spend, Warfare, to not rebrand. It's kind of the way I would look at that, though. Although, I do want to, uh, I think I'm going to set up and try to see all of the jerseys. I think I'm going to do, like, an offline franchise, move every team, and pick every possible uh, team option so I can see the jerseys. Although I've always liked the, like, even though it was a team that was always the thing, the Austin Desperados was always a fun one for me. But yeah, uh, show the beta is nice. I mean, it's, it's definitely got some issues, right? So, like, there's definitely some issues. Now it's Fields. I like the uh, Bison's jerseys too, Warfare. Or at least I did before. I like the Bison's options. Someone better become the Dublin Antlers. <laughs> I am curious as to how. So the issue, with Chris, is going to be uh, how will Daddy Leagues react to relocating teams? Because like that might be something that makes it where we don't relocate. If Daddy Leagues so can't pick up on like what your team is doing, then I don't think it's I don't think we're gonna allow relocating. That he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. Touchdown, power back Manny Gonzalez for the Broncos. This Broncos seems very interesting. They've got a lot of players in certain positions, not a lot others. Uh, he's been testing out some stuff with the linebacking core. Tons of running backs on this team. Ra Ra Roland Wallace is the starter, but Manny Gonzalez might be the most talented. Yeah, pretty much, Chris. Pretty much. Joey Sly on for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Seven, seven. So they only needed three plays on that drive. Because, like, you can change some of the stuff to the Dublin Antlers, and it does pick up now, but, like, with the way that they're going to do the moves, will it pick up? Hello, Princess. What you doing? And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Miami set to take over. 
Last time out, they had the fumble that led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Charles. But they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. Uh, Chris wants me to play it. Shush! Stop! Uh, thank you. What? Challenge me. Right? She's so drama. If I get Russ, he ain't even landing in my front office to be traded before he even dies. That man's gonna be like trying to get park in his parking spot, get towed, try to do the little T card entry, denied. Ain't nobody letting the man in the front office. Oh, nice throw, Matt. Oh, he's gone. No, he doesn't. He does not have the speed. Big play, though. Look at this throw. Matt Law looking great. I'm trying to figure out who that was. So, uh, show now that you're back, man. What uh, what are you up to now? Now that the mission trip's over, what's next? Back to work. What are we doing? What are we doing with our lives? I haven't heard from you in a while, man. I, I, we we've missed you. We've missed you. We didn't know where you were. You were here, and then you were gone. Tyler and Russ. Yeah, until Dak gets on your team and throws 30 interceptions. Dolphin. My man show coming in with the subscription. Sub two. Day one with the subscription. <laughs> yeah, he was like, I'm gonna be here for the stream. Poof. Nothing. I was like, oh, okay. I guess he got busy again. Just uh oh, where is that going, Matt? Maddie Law throwing that to the elevation sign. These two teams all tied after one. Now we miss show. Show's an OG. Who's number 80? Jim, Jimmy Dupree, the star tight end for the uh, Dolphins. Or Mac Jones. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'd, I'd, I don't think I can stick with Mac Jones. If my team drafts Mac Jones in the first round, I'd be highly upset. Highly upset. If I end up with, I can tell you this. If I end up with Zach Wilson or Baker Mayfield, I can tell you who's getting traded day one. I, I'm just going to cut him and start a punter. That's number one. Uh, yeah, I probably would take Mac over Kyler and Russ, but I would Baker Mayfield and Zach Wilson are getting cut day one if I get them. If I can't trade them, I'm cutting them. Not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'd rather I'd rather go out there with a punter or some random free agent I sign. On their last time out, look at repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after. I'll let Bijan Walker, uh, Bijan Robinson, rather, uh, play quarterback for me before that happens. That trash can trying to take you out, babe. It did out of nowhere. Nice run by Justin Fields right there. Ten to seven. This is a good game. Fields running well. Matt Law throwing well. Defense is doing okay. Look, we're in the beta. Yeah, like I said, Warfare, I think there's some stuff they still got to clean up with it. Obviously, it's a beta. So, like, it's not even, like, the trial. or It's just, it's super uncut, essentially. So, I'm not too surprised. The the giant white box that pops up when you do a sim game like this is really annoying for what I wanted to test with it. He'll get this up to Manny Gonzalez, two rushes, four. nine yards, one TD. Three Didn't get much there. Got three yards. Got only got three yards on that one. Fields looking to throw. Oh, nice little play action. Decent little play right there for Fields. Was looking to go deep. Ray reads the blitz coming and goes to the check down real quick. Uh-oh, Fields sending it deep. Pickens. George Pickens is that dude for this offense. Yeah, they're going to clean up a lot of this stuff, uh, Warfare. Now, Warfare, what worries me is, like, what they're going to take out that we enjoy. Right? So, like, there's going to be some features removed, I think, before the game starts. And that's going to be kind of annoying. But we'll see. 
But yeah, hopefully it's mostly just presentation stuff they clean up. So after the big play, look at this. DJ Moore is better? Yes. Now, However, George Pickens is a beast. That man catches everything. From the gun, they'll try to oh. run it. Manny Gonzalez runs hard, dude. Three rushes, 18 yards. Second down and one. Ten minutes left in the second quarter. Ooh, got him to jump. Bail out. Oh, oh that's a bail. They call the false start instead. I thought the defense jumped. I thought the defense jumped on that one. The offense backwards a bit. A bad false start penalty there. Now second and six. Next game will be Falcons versus the Bengals. If anybody wants to see it. Continuing our week two marathon. Fumble. Justin Fields with the fumble. Great defensive play right there. Great defensive play, but the Broncos recover. Number 28. They take particular delight in Greedy the Williams. Greedy Williams comes on the blitz one. and gets to play. But you can't call a play if your team doesn't have the ball. You're going to be depressed after secure. that game. Nah, you're going to get the so win. Who do you, you play the Bengals? Hmm. Well, I don't know. It'll be our first look at Brock Lesnar and Blackburn uh, on the Bengals defense live. Just don't run up the middle. Those dudes are bench pressing entire guards and stuff, man. Don't uh, don't run up the middle. There's a lot of strength in the middle of that defense now. And then Mahomes is kind of a problem. Mahomes is a bit of a problem. Joey Sly for the field goal. To tie it up. Sly able to put this one through. Pierre Covington versus Brock Lesnar. Oh, Covington's about to get thrown like a child. Uh, Warfare, I don't care. Like, if I get him, I'm getting the number one pick because he's not playing. Oh, matter of fact, I won't cut him because I don't want to see him start for anybody. I will literally bury that dude on my bench. Like, I will, I'll have a starting quarterback, a punter, a kicker, and then on the bench, inactive, coach's decision, Baker Mayfield. Every game. I'm not even going to let him be the holder. I won't even let him be the holder for field goals. No. I'll move his ass to, to uh, fucking fullback. That's <laughs> it. And Bijan probably. Uh, Warfare. I'm not. I wouldn't be opposed to it. Rushed a lot to where I wasn't getting anything. So hopefully you run more or pass more. I'll tell you what. Matt Lawrence looking pretty good today. Nine, nine for 12. He's doing pretty good. This uh, Whatever offense they're running now, he he's looks like he's going to be good again. Make Matt Lawrence good again. Uh, I'm not opposed to getting Bryce Young and Bijan, to be honest. That'd be nice. That would be nice. My team's going to draft every rookie. I'm sure Madden's going to overrate Anthony Richardson, so I'd probably want him to. I wouldn't mind having Anthony Richardson because Madden's going to overrate him. Uh, Chris, I'm 99% sure it's the Rams offense. Here's Lawrence. And this is taken in by Darnell Mooney. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. That might be Trey. <laughs> got to pause. We got to investigate. Or Will Levis. Or Will Levis. Nah. Uh, I don't know. I, I would maybe try to turn Will Levis into something. I'm not. I'm not sold on him, but I'm also not going to say that he's. He's not as bad yet in my mind as Zach Wilson. That makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Show a first and <laughs> right, in just to make me keep saying it. Levis, Levis, Levis. Will Levis. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, couldn't get outside. 12 for 15 for Matt Law. Matty Lawrence. All right. Hey, I'll tell you what. He's not afraid to take the short routes. If they're going to keep giving him the short routes, he's looking for completions. He's not looking for the big play. He's looking for completions here. And he will settle for the short route if they keep giving it to him. 
And it's working. It's working for Lawrence. 14 for 17. Tim Patrick getting a catch there. Gotta say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever. Uh, I don't necessarily want a Lamar type player. I don't know if you've noticed, Chris. I've tried to make Lamar a non-running quarterback. That's a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the uh, Listen, I'm not putting Levis into the Mahomes category ever. At all. Not a very, nobody should be put in the Mahomes category. Let's stop. Let's stop comparing people to Mahomes. How about that? That's not a fair comparison. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. Now a give running left is Eckler. A short gain here, maybe a Tavares Ward down down. with an injury for the Denver now Broncos. Looks like we've got a Bronco that's banged up on the play. We'll step aside and get a report when we come back to Denver. Gonna get blessed with a veteran quarterback and one of the rookies. Hey, don't don't let it be me. Oh, Ward down with it. Tavares Ward down with the injury there. They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. Now Lawrence. Jameis Winston, CJ Stroud. I don't screen, this is oh, oh my God, Eckler. That was a bad idea to break that tackle because Jesus. This is a bad move. Do not break that tackle. Big number 95 coming in hot. Field goal for the Dolphins to take the lead. Three minutes to go in the second uh, quarter. The kick is up, almost blocked, and it is good. Chris. Aaron Rodgers really. You might as well call him his next Tom Brady. I hate when people do that. I like. I hate when people make comparisons. They're like, he's going to be the next, and it's like, once in a lifetime type quarterback. That's the rookie DJ Bell ceiling, I guess. You go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal. Maybe the yeah, like to say that somebody's the next Mahomes, I can assure you there's not another Mahomes coming. He's different. There's not another Pat Mahomes coming ever. In this league, you take points when you can get them. Not easily, though. I'll tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position. Justin Fields looking good running. Justin Fields is the next Michael Vick. No, he's not. Even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL, they're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, <laughs> he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield. It's going to be a tall Kyler. Probably. I don't know. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. Uh, AR-15 is the one that uh, really, like, you just don't know. And the reason I say, like, Anthony Richardson, you don't know. He hasn't started a lot of games. I don't think he's going to be great. And, I like, it doesn't always work out when you draft a quarterback that hasn't played that much. The only quarterback is he's played less games than Trubisky has played at starter at, in college. He's starting for me. I don't care. <laughs> Nice Will clap going to start. Yeah, AR-15 going to be a project, I think. Although I think Madden's probably going to overrate him, so he'll be good. Like in, in Madden, he'll be good. I just think in real life, he's not as good as people are going to expect him to be. But in the right offense, you never know. I think Bryce Young will have success early because he's, he's extremely intelligent at the quarterback. Damn, Eckler. Eckler just threw that dude to the ground like a child. Levis will not be cut by week five. He's bad. I don't think he's going to be great, but he ain't getting cut. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. Yeah, I mean, I think the Eagles offensive coordinator coming in is going to help him more fair. But again, I don't think he's ready to start day one. Levis is going to cut. On time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. 
I've heard good things from the Texans about uh, C.J. Stroud, so maybe he's better than I think he is. I don't think he's that great. I just don't like his demeanor. That's it. I think he's a good quarterback. I don't like his demeanor. He's, uh... C.J. Stroud strikes me very much like uh, Jay Cutler, where he's probably really good at quarterback, just like never going to lead your team to anything, like kind of a eh, don't care kind of attitude. Very talented. I... Oh, my God, Fields. You ain't got to do him like that. 10 for 13. Fine, Gabe Davis down the sideline. Look at this. This is under pressure while being hit. Let's go. Puts that on a rope right to Gabe Davis. I was going to say laser. I like ropes better. You're going to cut him? If I get Levis, I'll make him a superstar. How about that? If I get Levis, I'll turn him into a superstar. Let's see what Fields can do on the next throw, though. On the run. Stops. Sets his feet. Touchdown. Justin Fields. Nice throw, George Pickens. I like how he set his feet before he lets this one go. Didn't throw on the run. Ran to move the pocket, sets his feet, and makes a very accurate, very good throw to a wide open George Pickens. Great play by Justin Fields right there. I'll tell you what, y'all better hope that Super doesn't win with, with Justin Fields. They'll feel really good about what they accomplished in the first two quarters. Extra point by Slay is up and good, and that will make this a four-point game. And the Broncos have the lead over the Dolphins. Two plays, 75 yards later, into the end zone. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Uh, Chris, on the bright side, Pat Mahomes in week one only threw five touchdowns. Too deep, here comes a return. Levis is Scott Ward 2.0, facts. <laughs> facts. Only MLB and NBA have a 10 p.m. game. Well, I mean, there's West Coast teams, uh, Chris, so. Who's the 10 p.m. game? When's the next finals game? Anybody know? When's the next NBA finals game? Tomorrow? All right, Matt Lawrence down by four, but looking good. Oh, the Angels Mariner game is on now. I might not have that one. How are they not showing that here? I think I'd be able to watch that one. Three to four seasons straight, not till Monday. What's up, Justin? Games are going well, man. We've had a lot of blowouts, Justin. A lot of blowouts. The last game was 14 to 13, though. Carolina over the Saints. And this one's been pretty good as well. Matt Lawrence looks great, Justin. Matt Lawrence out here looking great right now. So yeah, games are going well, man. We've had a we've had a lot of fun today. Lots of fun. Lots of games. The Cowboys got their ass whooped. We had a bunch of blowouts, and then the last game was close, and this game's close. Ooh, big hit. Go down, Eckler. Got to go down. Justin, how you been, man? How's your day going? How are you doing today? Will Lutz makes it a three-point game, or a one-point game. Ran yeah, random. Like, all right, guys, I'm not going to show the draft. We're just going to... Uh, we're just going to, I'll publish the teams as soon as it's done. Like, that's weird. Every Texas Longhorn player is on the Cowboys. How'd that happen? Oh, you got Justin Tucker and Michael. If you see Justin Tucker and Michael Dixon on my team, or uh, Dicker the Kicker and Dixon on my team, you'll know. You'll, like, that's odd. Like, I swear, random. Y'all saw it happen. Had a little day night. Let's go. Sounds like a wonderful night, Justin. Sounds like a good day. One play has him up past well, minus watching the Cowboys lose. But other than that, sounds like you're having a good day. A final shot before the break. Fields. Fields with time. Sends it at halftime. It's to the end zone. Oh, ooh. Ooh, almost kicked. Why is this end taking so long? 
But, yeah, I mean, when you look at quarterback, I end up with like Colt McCoy at quarterback. <laughs> 17 to 16, one point game at halftime. Broncos are a seven point favorite in this game. Uh, Justin, where'd y'all go for date night? What'd y'all do for date night? Y'all go to E? Go see a movie? What'd y'all do? You don't have to answer, I'm just curious. 24 to 17 at halftime for the Titans. From there, we take the long trek eastward to Tampa. Check on the Bucks at home at Raymond James Stadium. Yeah, Ellinger or uh, McCoy. I think McCoy's probably a higher rated. Justin Herbert, four touchdowns, 415, but did throw two interceptions. Brian Edwards making an early state for player of the week. And then the hey, we didn't get Bears versus Bears. Bears versus Lions. 0-0. Zero, zero. That game does not start yet. That, Went to a local pizza place. Very nice. Very nice. I gotta figure out what I want to do for Father's Day, guys. They have feasted on this secondary to the tune of Gotta figure out what I'm doing for Father's Day. Don't know yet. Don't have a plan for it yet. I do know that. No plans for Father's Day yet. So I don't know what we're doing. Probably go out to eat somewhere. Okay, coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back. Tattoo waters? Oh, her neck. I was like, Justin, you get a tattoo? Let's go. Uh, but no, her next scene. Very nice. Very nice. I want another tattoo, but also don't know what I would get for a tattoo. So, you know, welcome to my life. But Charles, we saw pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition. Yeah, I want another tattoo, but no idea what I would get, so I don't get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a Go to Top Golf. Uh, I don't even know if there's a Top Golf. Nice run by Eckler. Tell you what, Eckler underrated. 10 rushes, 43 yards. I'm going to stretch my legs real quick. I'll be right back. Stretch my legs, and then uh, I got to spray my nose out. So I will I'll be right back, guys. I will be right back. Sometimes this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Now Lawrence on first down, finding Knox there, complete. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Eckler now between the tackles. And he is going to lose yardage here. This drive starts with two steps forward and now one back. A pair of first downs and here a loss of yardage. I see a shake of the head as he gets up and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Lawrence will throw. Out to the left, he's got his tight end, Knox. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. That's a staple of this offense. Drag round to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. From the shotgun, Lawrence. And this will be caught by Mooney. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos 30. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Uh, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking round and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. So first and ten now from the again. thirty. Well, they go play action now. Lawrence, he'll get this out wide to Eckler. 
And he'll be brought down at about the 23 yard line. Oh, Justin, you're saying you don't want to start by getting a tattoo because you'll get a bunch of them? Yeah, I have one. I got it when I was uh, on leave during my first deployment. I've wanted a bunch of others. I'm just real picky. So I got to be like fully invested in like, nope, that's what I want. So I don't get them. They're also expensive as fuck. It's so expensive to get a tattoo. So like that. Oh, what a block, dude. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. You're hitting the ball as hard as you can. Oh, yeah. I I would like top golf. Don't get me wrong. I would enjoy top golf. The one thing I can do in, in golf is swing hard. I can't I can't do the short game in golf, but I can hit driving range. I'm going to slice the shit out of it, though. Is that picture Pickett and Hayward real? Uh, Chris, what picture? Confused. No, he's out of bounds, guys. Ain't no way. I was about to say, he looked out of bounds. What picture of Pickett and Hayward? What am I missing? What am I missing, Chris? Go to Steelers Twitter? Oh. Uh, yeah, he's definitely out of bounds. That's coming back. Should have been caught because he's wide open, so there's no reason to, to, for him to miss that throw. So take away the touchdown there, as that's going to be ruled an incomplete pass. On second down, Eckler. And a nice pick up there. He gets about five down to the four yard. What am I looking for here? A big play forthcoming. Uh oh. Third and goal. Uh, it probably could be. <laughs> Chris, yeah, it probably could be. The refs are having a day. Yeah, that one, uh. Uchi. Man, it's a good thing he didn't become a middle linebacker. Yeah, he, I mean, Hayward's a big dude, too, Chris. It's a good thing Uchi didn't become a middle linebacker. Nice play by Uchi right here. Mariners scoring a run. Let's go. Seattle, three up, three nothing. Seattle up three nothing. Let's go, Seattle. Refs are having a day. Yeah, they are. All right. Field goal to take the lead, though. A field goal to take the lead. The kick by Lutz is good. And the Dolphins have come back now to regain the lead. So they don't get a touchdown here in the opening drive of the third quarter. But I think maybe you still say mission accomplished as they come away with the lead. No, absolutely. You keep the pressure on, right? You go downfield, get some points up on the board, and hope that you've motivated your defense to take the field and hold that lead. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. So now a look at the Broncos as they head back out there for their first possession of the second half. And they find themselves down on the scoreboard following the field goal a moment ago. And I think even though they trail in the game now, I would consider that a win for their defense. And Hand off. Nice run by Manny Gonzalez again. Hey, the onus is on you guys. Big Manny Gonzalez. Six rushes, 43 yards out of the power formations. He's been great. On second and two. I mean, he does have a big ass head. Warfare, he's got a big ass head. Oh Bailout coming. God, that's a bad one. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Fields now to throw. Flush to his Fields right. on the move. Decent run right there on second down. Seven rushes, 43 yards. I'm wondering if his uh, depth chart, Super's depth chart might have been re reset because I'm pretty sure Ra Ra Roland Wall is supposed to be his starting running back. And they got Manning Gonzalez out there. I'm, I'm really ready for Madden 24 to have the option of cutting that shit off where it resets the uh, depth chart. I can't believe that San Francisco and the Giants game was closed for a minute and then it was like the Giants took off in that game. Nizzy's game earlier. San Francisco was close at one point and then like I walked away for a second. Next thing I know, he's dominating. Stupid Giants. The Broncos send out their punter now. As he'll punt it away Stupid Giants being all day. good at football and stuff, man. Ain't nobody got time for that. And take it right at the 35. That'll go as Nothing happened on that kick. 19 to 17, though. Maddie Law on a touchdown puts this one away, I think. 
If Matt Law and, and the Dolphins get a touchdown here, people like Fletcher Cox, Brandon Graham, the big names, and get why they don't have their face in the game. Fletcher Cox and Brandon Graham don't have their uh, face in the game? That's kind of interesting. I don't know. I'm sure there's a reason. I'm sure they have a reason for it. I just don't know what it is. I know if it was me, my, hey, put my whole face, every, put everything in the game. I'd want to be in the game. That's like, uh, there's a couple NCAA athletes that have said when the rumor came out, like, oh, the uh, college football game might uh, not get the uh, players' names because they're not agreeing to $500 a player. And it was like, there's a couple of them that like, shit, give me 20 bucks, put me in the game. Hey, what's up, Austin Wedgie? What's up? Austin, you let me down today. Austin, you're on my Cowboys team now. Uh, old Austin Lynch. Zero catches for zero yards. You were my breakout wide receiver last year. What's up, Austin? How are you, though? How's it going, buddy? How have you been, my guy? Here's Lawrence to throw. Austin, I'm doing good, my guy. I am doing wonderful. We're having one of the longest uh, streams I've ever done today, as a matter of fact. Really hope I can get Bijan Tuck and overprice him. I'll be honest with you, Warfare. I'm willing to trade a lot for him. I'm not going to way overpay for him either, though. At the end of the day, I will, I'll make a fair offer for him. If somebody doesn't want to do that, uh, then I'm just going to be okay with not having Bijan. It is what it is. I'm going to hate it, but I'll be okay. Because I'm not going to get robbed either for the player, even if I want it. Lawrence going deep. The call ball game. No. Ooh, almost picked. But yeah, I'm not going to overpay for it. It's slowly killing me. Sorry to hear that, Austin. Sorry to hear about the work thing. Work killing me at the same time, my guy. Uh, but no, I, so Austin, I ended up trading for you, what, three seasons ago. Uh, had you developing on my bench. Then last season, you had a breakout 1,000-yard uh, season. You're the uh, first 1,000-yard receiver I've had on my team, by the way. And then uh, you've been pretty good this year. But today, so game one, you're okay. Today, though, no, they shut you down. Zero catches for zero yards. But yeah, you had a great season last season. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board. Those are the I got to re-sign you this offseason. My man for show dropping more biddies. More biddies. More biddies. Nice run by Eckler. Eckler about to put this game away himself. 78 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Looks to me like maybe there's a little... But yeah, Austin, you had 84 catches for 1,095 yards and 12 touchdowns last season. So you had a breakout season last season. 642 yards the season before that, but last season was definitely the year. Oh, show, dropping more biddies. Matt Lawrence in trouble, goes down. Yeah, you're, um, I have a, so Austin, the real issue is I have a lot of big name free agents to sign, but you're definitely a priority for me to resign because you've been one of the, you've been my better receiver the last, like, you were definitely the number one receiver for us last year. So our, our true number one guy keeps getting hurt, which makes you, your value go up even more. My real number one guy keeps getting hurt. Your value's going up. So they get pushed back to the and you've got rare speed for this league. You 99 speed is rare around here. Uh oh, Lawrence to the end zone. Oh, dangerous. Lawrence reverting back to his old ways, throwing picks. Yep, but yeah, you're in the priority list. But I got Lamar and Chase Young, and I got a lot of people. Uh oh, the 360, no, the 180 no scope throws it out of bounds. Says we'll just take our field goal. 29 for 40 for Lawrence. But yeah, we're in season five right now, Austin. Season five. It's up. It's good. Andre Dillard going down with an injury, though, for Miami there. 22 to 17. What is the answer from Justin Fields and the Broncos here? We know what Joe Burrow would do. What is Justin Fields going to do? How's he answer? 
I like this play. Stacked receivers, both superstars on the underneath down. stack. Fields. Fields under pressure though. Oof. This is Oof, going down. 11 for 16 for Fields. Yeah, uh, also, we started doing an everyday advance. So now we get to a season in like a month. Fields over the middle. Nice throw to Pickens. Good play, but Pickens refusing to go down. 184 yards and a TD for Justin Fields. Yeah, it's been a minute, Austin. I'm glad to have you back, though. Glad you made it back. See, you still got your sub active, which means you were probably gifted a sub by Stag, most likely. Either Stag or, yeah, most likely Stag at this point. Show came in at one point and dropped a bunch of uh, gifted subs, too. But I think we're at a point now where Stag's got all the gifted subs. Stag made me have to change my damn uh, sub goals out here, making me look bad like my goals were uh, not hard enough. Nick, what's up, Nick? How's it going, buddy? Mr. Nick in the house. Nick has risen. Nick is here. Nick, you're only like four games late. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> what games have we done? One, two, three, four. This is the fifth game. Yep, we're, we're on our fifth game today. And Nick's like, I didn't get the memo, guys. Nobody told me. Yeah, super, super uh, unplanned, like planned out today stream, uh, Nick. Like, woke up this morning and was like, I think I'm going to stream all day. <laughs> so, completely unplanned. Alien late, 2013. Uh, don't. Nick, don't go back and watch that game. Do not watch the Cowboys game. It is not worth it. Unless you're a Cardinals fan, don't watch that Cowboys game. Unless you're a fan, if, you, if you're a fan of offense, don't watch the Cowboys game. I can assure you that. It was, we, we played so flat, Nick. The team was terrible. Oh, God, that's a bad He said, so I think I got some more channel points. Yeah, that's what you needed. So I lost because you bet on the Cardinals. That's why. You didn't put your faith in me and I lost. We were terrible. I hope we have a bounce back game next week. I don't even know who I play next week, but we better bounce back. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. And movement by one of the Broncos up front. And in comes the Another bailout. Oh, moving from God, his tight end bear. spot there. Do you think that perhaps the play call put my faith on? I avoid what others do. That's not a bad idea, Nick. That usually actually works out pretty well. Don't know any of the wide receivers. So, uh, yeah, most of my team is from drafted players. So, Purdy, I traded the Lions for uh, Austin. So I traded for Purdy. He's a six foot four, six six foot four, two hundred sixty pound wide receiver. He's huge. Derek Jackson, I drafted a couple years ago. Oh man, so much for bouncing back. I play the damn Seahawks next. I got the Seahawks next week. So much for bouncing back. Garbage. He's on for the fifth time here today. He'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And I think I'm the away team. Yeah. I think I'm the away team too, so I don't even get to watch it myself. I have to watch it on Cody stream. <laughs> Warfare gonna have to stream it, which is fine because I'm not streaming tomorrow. That works out. But the bottom line is, do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Uh, listen, Warfare, I'm just hoping that your defense doesn't show up still. All right? I need, what I need is the game against your team to reignite my offense. And then I just hope and pray that my defense does well enough. Nice throw there for Matt Lawrence. Yeah, I'm hoping that his struggles on defense continue. And that uh, if Tua can throw for 400, I'm hoping that Lamar can too. Just need Lamar to get the uh, dev game back up to X Factor is what I need. Matt Lawrence playing well. Dawson Knox with 11 catches today. Let him eat and stop everyone else. True. That's Anderson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this Been in poverty for four seasons. Just take, take out Derrick Henry's legs. Listen, Derrick Henry's the size of me. His leg's the size of me. Oh, that's going nowhere. Oh, fumble! Oh, no! 
If you're the Dolphins, that's the last thing you want to have happen. But, man, I don't know what it is about this Broncos team. I swear, I've never seen a team get more clutch punch outs than the Broncos. No team gets more clutch punch outs than the Broncos. There's a chance on my team. Didn't end well. At least I've seen this before. Didn't go well. Did not go well. But I think, uh, let's see, Justin, you still got, Justin, are you uh, doing your game today? If not, no biggie. I'm just curious. I didn't want to advance without getting your game in. Colts finished their game against the Jaguars already. So I think once I finish the Bills Patriots game, if Justin does his game, we'll be able to advance. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. That's a gain of five. Brings up third and one. Fields to throw on third and one. Man open. That's Debo Samuel. Two run homer by Atani. Angel tie it up at two. Very nice. Atani's such a beast. Tell you what, he's been able to go back some tight spots. Okay, so Justin, we're. Uh, We'll be, I'm still advancing tonight, that's why I'm asking. So like, the advance is tonight at midnight, it's not a big deal. It'll just be, your Bears game will get simmed, and then you'll be able to play, who do you play tomorrow? And then you'll be able to do the Packers game tomorrow. So signs of life and what's been I'll do my tomorrow, yeah. Oh, he said, never mind, I'm doing it now, I'm doing it now. Do not send my fucking game. <laughs> He said, you are not simming my game. I am watching them play. Alright, no worries, Justin. I just wanted to be sure. I don't want to advance without you getting a chance to do your game. He said, ignore that. <laughs> my phone. <laughs> oh, your phone is cracked? Gotcha. Gotcha. Broke the phone. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. A tiny with a two run home run. Who knows? Uh, what's the uh, what's Julio Rodriguez doing for the Mariners? You might know. I can't see the game right now. It's kind of frustrating. Kind of frustrating. And now we're going to get a stoppage as, yeah, that looks like Jackson who's shaken up. I didn't say tomorrow, my son. Get a report when we come back to Denver. Injury. Ooh, Chuck Jackson, the superstar the left tackle the drafted the by the Broncos so going down with an injury. This is third and 14. Go back to hockey. Oh, no. Oh, fourth and 22. Another injury for the offensive line on the Broncos. What is that? They're falling apart out here. The Broncos are falling apart. Damn, not going ham. The O line is crumbling. A field goal to make it a two point game. They'll put it down right at the 40, so call this a 50 yard attempt. Sly able to put this one through. And easy field goal for Joey Sly. Easy field goal for Joey Sly there. Oh, Nick, you missed it. We had a, uh, we had a show goat signing earlier. We had a uh, show goat sighting earlier. He stopped in, let us know he's back from a mission trip to Mexico. Yeah, he, he stopped in, hit us with a quick sub, and then uh, he's either lurking or vanished. But he was here. I swear he was here. I swear we saw him. It's like seeing Bigfoot at this point. He's fine. He's a busy man. He's a busy, busy dude. Happy for him. Happy for him. But yeah, we had a uh, we had a show goat signing. Exciting. Not signing. Matt Lawrence rolling out. Throw it. Oh, he's hit it. Ooh, dangerous. This is not the time to turn into last season, Matt, where you're throwing all the interceptions there, Lawrence. What are you doing? Yeah, just hand the ball off and run. I wasn't in Matt. I mean, I've been streaming for a hot minute today, Chris, but I swear I didn't imagine it. He... He hit the sub button. He said, what's up, dude? I just got home from a mission trip in Mexico. It's in my it's in my stream lab. All right. I know it happened. It's in the stream lab. He said, fuck you, Nick. I'm leaving the goal. Guys, 
No, no, he can't leave the Colts. Nick's not going to have anybody to blame. So the curse is broken. Hey, y'all about to get lots of interceptions and cover people now. Right? Who's Nick going to blame when the defense lets people run right by him if Show's not to blame? Can't blame Show on his halftime speeches. Nice throw, Matt. I'm going to tell you what, 34 for 45. I think the old Matt Lawrence is back. I think Joyce has found the old Matt Lawrence. He gave him some confidence. I think the new coach came in, watched him for a year, spent all offseason rebuilding this man's confidence. And now Matt Lawrence is back to rookie form. He's back to good Matt Lawrence. All the bad habits are gone. Matt Lawrence has been revived. The Cruz did wonders. Oh, oh, he breaks the tackle. Doesn't break that one though. Thirty-five for forty-six. Three thirty-eight for Matt Lawrence. That Cruz did wonders for this man. He got to hang out with his cousin Trevor for a while. Came back rejuvenated. He's out here throwing shovel passes? Wait a minute. He's got so much confidence, he's throwing shovel passes. Left-handed shovel passes. Mingo, Jonathan Mingo is the receiver everybody's going to go after in DJ about 24. Why you say that, uh, Warfare? Speed? Uh, yeah, Justin, you're not invited. You can come this year, Justin. You're invited this year. I'll give you my seat, Justin. Justin, I'm going to give you my ticket to the cruise. Don't worry. You can have my ticket. Two minutes remaining. Going after Two Josh Downs. As well. Two points here in the fourth quarter. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. 6-2, 220. He'll be stopped just oh, yeah, yeah. The five at the six. And now right out of the two-minute break. We'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 50. For a 50 yard TD. I don't think we're going to see it. Nick, I, we might see that animation once. But yes, when that 80 overall trash QB does it and it's a touchdown. If Mahomes does it, fine. Uh, I've seen some clips of Josh Allen doing it. But again, I don't think it's going to be something you see a lot. So I want Jameer Gibbs at any cost. There's been no, I haven't seen Russ doing it. Russ doing it would be a frustrating one. Touchdown. Nice throw. Nice throw. Called it. Called it. Darnell Mooney. Touchdown. 28. Ooh, that was a clutch touchdown, too, because with the extra point, they're going to go up 29 to 20. Ryan Moody made it. Oh, I haven't watched the Ryan Moody one in a while. Well, when you're able to mix run pass, when you're able to the game's going to be 95 speed. Head of the chains. I'm using every cliche I know. <laughs> I think you're making it up, Warfare. Although I wouldn't be surprised. He's very quick. He's very fast. I just want to know what the actual ratings are going to be. Like that's where I really want to. I want to know what Bijan Robinson's real rating is. There's no like obviously what's in Madden right now, and the beta is definitely not it. And then if you just up the uh, awareness, that's not it either. So I'm just curious as to like what the actual ratings are going to be. The kicking team out for Miami is He tweeted. Oh, I got you. The, oh, Jameer Gibbs tweeted it. I mean, that'll make him one of the faster running backs in the game. I don't. So Warfare, I don't think so because he didn't get because of where he got drafted. Uh, he didn't get drafted like top five, but I could see him being like a 75, 76 maybe. Uh, Nick, I think it's on purpose because they they do a like a it's a PR thing. They do a reveal and it's like a PR thing for revealing the rookie uh, ratings. So it's intentional. It's intentional to not mess up the PR thing later down the line when it gets closer. They reveal nobody's ratings are correct. None of them are correct. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 24-yard line. Oh. All right, down by nine. Fields needs to get moving. They need a, a quick touchdown. 
send it. Uh, nope, Fields going check down. They needed a touchdown, an uh, onside kick to have any chance at this because they need nine points. Can they get this, get in the touchdown and make this a one-point game? Oh, my God. That would have been a crazy catch. Yeah, what's up, Purple? Ask away, my guy. Fourth down. Fields has to have this one. To the end zone. Woo Almost caught. Almost caught. What's up, Purple? But he's a 77 overall, 95 speed. They're gonna they're gonna lower him for giving it away. <laughs> uh, Purple, I'm still gonna be streaming, my guy. So no. Just message me. I don't know what you need to talk about, but you can message me. Or put it in the, uh, the thing. Well, Charles, we were treated to an excellent game today, capped off by that second half comeback. This was a joy to watch. Entertaining for us. Not so much to the team who led at halftime. And now is leaving here. Know that they let a win slip through their fingers. Tough one for them to carry home. So for Miami, there was a great all-around performance as they come out of this one with the victory. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Buffalo to take on the Bills. Meanwhile, for the Broncos, they will fall. The Broncos. I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they want to go eat, then you know I'm going to feed them. If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon. I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens.